This is Grifter. Time on target, 30 seconds. Understood. Kappa defense grid is down. Grifter, you are clear to engage. Orbital, Grifter. Potential friendlies in the AO. Please advise. Grifter, Orbital. No friendlies in the area. Good hunting. Copy that. All right, Jets, you know the drill. Two megaton tacticals. All systems go. Stay in wedge formation and don't stray past the burn line. Locking on target. On my mark. Contact. Break formation. Jump complete, Commander. Welcome to Dreadnought, a third-person action game where you take the helm of a massive space vessel. You're a mercenary captain striving to make a name for yourself in a solar system rife with conflict. You will team up with four other captains to fight in epic battles in deep space or inside the atmosphere of planets to earn fame, glory, and your own fleet of ships. In order to be an effective commander, you need to know the fleet inside and out. It's not enough to know your favorite class. You've got to know your enemy and know which ship will be the most effective in burning them to the ground. Artillery cruisers do their best work at extreme range, delivering deadly salvos from heavy weapon batteries. Think of the artillery cruiser as a sniper. The ship is big guns strapped onto a quick engine with almost no heavy armor, making it one of the most vulnerable flyers in the fleet. The artillery cruiser does its best work lurking in the outskirts of battle, spotting targets for teammates and taking out enemy vessels from afar. Bulky dreadnoughts are plumb targets for artillery cruisers. Lining up the perfect shot can be tricky, especially when quick ships like the Corvette manage to get too close for comfort. The Corvette is the smallest, most maneuverable ship in your arsenal. Dual front-mounted heavy autocannons and the Blink warp drive allow Corvette captains to make deadly, surgical, hit-and-run strikes and wreak havoc on the enemy. Corvettes are scouts, running recon and delivering quick strikes. High speed and the warp jump ability make them perfect for hunting down pesky artillery cruisers. But Corvettes may fall prey to the massive firepower of the destroyer if they aren't careful. Destroyer-class ships hit the sweet spot between the massive Dreadnought and the agile Corvette. This all-around attack ship is loaded with firepower, making it the ultimate medium-range hunter. At range, destroyers should stay clear of the artillery cruiser's line of sight. A direct hit can prove devastating. In close quarter battles, destroyers are tough enough to handle their share of fire. Their role is to dart in and cut up the support craft, like the tactical cruiser, leaving larger, more dangerous ships without defenses. Tactical cruisers play a vital support role. They can provide on-the-spot repairs, even to themselves. And when they're caught in a corner or on the offensive, they are more than capable of causing some damage, especially against wily corvettes. As a mobile repair vessel, the tactical cruiser is the key to the survival of the fleet and is often seen in close proximity to other friendlies. Enemy destroyers will seek to cut the tactical cruiser's lifeline. Cruiser captains should wait for a destroyer escort before moving in to support a dreadnought. Which brings us to our final ship, the Dreadnought. It's built for survivability and for causing massive damage. It's all over when one of these maneuvers alongside an enemy and delivers a broadside. The Dreadnought is the heaviest class in the fleet. They're hard to take down and their weapons pack a brutal punch. It is foolish to take on a Dreadnought alone and nothing is more frightening than the sight of a Dreadnought on the horizon launching its nuclear missile. Gun for gun, the Dreadnought is strong against most ships, but poor maneuverability makes it an easy target for the long-distance sniper attacks of artillery cruisers. Before you take the helm, it is vital to understand how to handle your ship. 
The weapon wheel at the center of the screen acts as a targeting reticle, but also provides important information about ship energy and health. Ability hotkeys are visible at the top of the screen. Once used, they will display a countdown timer for when they can be activated again. A good captain will learn to time their attacks, switch to the secondary weapon when a primary is on cooldown. Activate your energy generator just before closing in for an attack to maximize your damage and leave your opponent in flames. Bringing the right ship to bear at the right time can mean the difference between victory and utter defeat. Remember what you've learned and you'll be on your way to becoming one of the most renowned and feared captains in the solar system.